Hello and welcome to the Peroxide Guide for Archimonde for Heroic Difficulty. Archimonde is a three-phase fight. It is a fight with interesting mechanics and you need to know how to deal with these mechanics. Archimonde summons Doomfire. It should be DPS down um, because it's the only add and because it does asphyxiate on a random player and that player needs to, needs to take that fire away from the raid. Um, Archimonde summons the death brand on the player that's currently tanking him and um, that's when you do your tank switch. If you're a death knight I recommend you take all the death brands because it's death knight is the best tanking class for for the death brands. There you see shadow burst, um, shadow fall burst, the player got sent up in the air, people stack up and they split the damage from it. That's how that mechanic is handled, and you have to make sure that before it happens, that everybody is spread. There's another Doomfire, um, you just have to DPS it down. So here I'm gonna show you the example. Hellfire Deathcaller gets summoned, I use anti-magic shell, and I don't get any debuff. You completely ignore everything and you absorb all the magic damage, and you generate runic power from there. So it's a win-win if you're playing a Death Knight on this fight, it's super amazing. Here he does a lure of flames, there's green swirlies, you just move away from it, he's gonna cast desecrate, those are these pillars that come out from the ground, and then Yarl summons the orbs around them. If you collect the orb, you immune all the damage for all the shadow damage for 25 seconds, and you get 40% increased movement speed. Here's the death brand again. Uh, I get it. If you, in case you don't have, there I, I negate it again with anti-magic shell. If you don't have anti-magic shell up for this, you should just use rune tap or call out for external. Whichever you need is that like vigilance, hand of sacrifice, uh, iron bark, or pain suppression. Whichever, just call out for something if you, if you think uh, or if you don't have rune tap or anti-magic shell, it it might save your life. There's a lure of darkness again. You just move away from there. Um, it's gonna do another death brand again. There's the Doomfire, just DPS, the ads. Like, throughout the fight, you just wanna focus on the things that spawn. <clears throat> and there's the Shadow Fell Burst in 6 seconds. The Pillar, Desecrate. We just stand here nearby. Okay, the orbs didn't spawn, that didn't matter. Um, would have been nice though if you just collected the orb to negate that shadow damage from the death caller. But you're a death knight, so you don't need it. Um, that rot of chaos is happening on the right. You see, the people have to move their um, move the beams out of the raid so they don't blast the raid with that massive magic damage. Um, death brand again in five seconds. When you see Death Brand in 5 seconds, just taunt Archimon so you ensure that she will get it. So Death Brand while Allure of uh, Allure of Flames, so you just move away from there. Um, you see Shackled Torment during this second phase. It chains 3 people and those 3 people um, are chained and they have to go one by one. Because every time they uh, release the chain, you release the chain by outranging, just taking it away from the raid from where you're bind. Um, and when you do that, it unleashes the magic damage across the whole raid. So if all three players do it at the same time, you, the raid is just gonna explode. So you have to make sure that everybody stops before you actually do that. On 55%, he summons this new demons. You should focus on this um, on this fiend that died there in the back, and you you also have to interrupt it. The, the demon's called uh, Felborn Overfiend. He does AOE damage, so you have to interrupt Heart of Argus. You can also dead grip it, so you make it a lot easier for the whole team, since it's gonna get DPS down and melee can interrupt it since it's in range. And also these little demons that are called Death Stalkers, they uh, do this ability consume magic. They teleport to a random player, and they unleash and they unleash explosion. So you just gotta move away from there. So 
during this phase you have a lot of ants a lot more it looks a bit more hectic you see those demons running towards the raid um, you can't really tank them thing to keep in mind you, on, you can only tank the the overfiend and that brand demon always gets fixated to one tank so that's something to keep in mind Oh, you see the shackles on the right, they're releasing it one by one, they're handling the mechanic perfectly, so that's really good. And uh, the, fo the focus chaos, the wrath of chaos is just being moved out of the raid. Here comes the nether banish, we have two groups for this. Um, the death knight group, which is my group, don't use a healer, because I don't need a healer, I can sustain myself through death strikes. So when we get down here, um, we we kill this nether walker and we we have to interrupt the the ability because it does AOE magic damage and there's also this void star that fixates to you and if it reaches you it blows you off the platform and you interrupt the spell touch of shadows and you're good and once the ad dies you get out of the banishment. Um, and you leave a pool behind you and out of this uh, nether banish they, the um, living shadow comes out and if the living shadow which is fixated to a player reaches a player it does massive damage to them and it puts a dot on them which makes them uh, take less healing and absorption by 20% you should definitely kill them before they reach you there's the second nether banish and the second group going so they got teleported during this time we're just DPSing the boss the boss is 25% so Soul Reaper is super good on this they're just doing a lot of damage as a death knight here here comes the, the rain the rain of chaos um, you should move away from the swirlies the further away you are the, the less damage you take and the, from the swirlies they come out these infernals you should just dead grip one and move away with the boss so they're not together and the other people that can taunt them should taunt them away so they're not together because it's very important that they're not together because they heal each other for 8% every second so if they're together they're pretty much unkillable there's another nether banish incoming um, and we sacrifice the tank here he goes alone he doesn't like and you want to make sure that when you're placing nether banishes that they're all together because they're spawning the ads from the same side then so you know where to expect it from there's the rain of chaos again the, the green swirl is on the floor you want to move away from them and then when they land they, they leave this construct so you can approx know where the ads are gonna be coming from so you can position beforehand and turn the ad away from the from each other so they don't heal each other um so this phase looks super hectic you got the infernals you have the chains you have the living shadows coming from nether banish um so much going on a lot of damage a lot of like bosses super low so many things um, there's the Shackle Torment again. And it's very important that you don't die with Shackle Torment, because if you die with Shackle Torment, you just release the chain immediately. Um, so yeah, we don't have a tank on the upper, uh, on the upstairs. So, I can't really do much here. I, the only thing I can do in this chamber is to pray that my team is gonna kill the boss because it's super low and there's no tank and they're dropping like dominoes they're dying one by one and I really hope like I'm just praying praying here can you kill the boss I believe you can do it yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it don't let your dreams be dreams that's that's all and then we kill it this is like the fucking amazing moment it was like fuck yes it's finally done we can do mythic now we can do easy bosses on mythic like I don't know I assume hellfire assault's gonna be pretty chill and some other first bosses but yeah this was um, we killed it before the reset so we got pretty happy it was not the cleanest skill but 
who cares? We we killed the boss. That's all that matters. So yeah, that was Archimond Heroic. If this guide helped you out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. If you want to ask anything, feel free to do so. If you want to check guides for any of the other bosses, just click the annotations. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.